In this video, we are going to cover how to create a conversion action inside Google Ads account, how to create all pages data layer event using the newer customer pixels inside Shopify store, and finally, how to test and make sure this conversion tracking is working using Google Tag Manager container. First thing I always do for the clients is to make sure that they do have the customer pixels enabled. And to check that, all you have to do is go to the backend of the Shopify store, click on the settings button, which is on the bottom left corner of the page, then go to the checkout system. Once you are on the checkout setting, make sure that you have activated the thank you and order stretch pages. If you have not done that, just click on activate these pages and on the left top corner, click on activate pages. Once this is done, you can click save, which is on the top right corner and then click save again. What this is going to do is upgrade your old checkout system to the newer customer pixels that we are going to use in this video. Once you have done that, you can go back to the main page and just recheck if you have any customer pixels already added. To do that, scroll down to the customer events section and you will be able to see all the customer pixels you have here. If you already have Google and YouTube sales channel, make sure to check that the conversion tracking is turned off from there and then you will be adding using Google Tag Manager container. The first thing we have to do is make sure that the Google Tag Manager container is properly firing on all the pages of the website. To do that, we are going to create a new customer pixel and the code for this customer pixel, you can find it in the link in the description below. So let's create the the first customer pixel. Click on add custom pixel and then rename it to data layer. Click on add pixel. Great. Now these settings are really important. So make sure that the permissions is set to not required and data sale is set to does not qualify as data sale. Then from the description of the video, paste the code that you have selected. If you will go to the blog post, you will find an option where you can sign up with Google. So let's quickly sign up so we can view the code snippet on this page. Once you have signed up on the website, you will be able to see the code snippet that we are going to use in this video to track the page view event. Let's copy the code snippet, go back to the Shopify store and paste the code snippet here. You might notice that we do have to update this GTM example thing. So let's go to our Google Tag Manager account and try to find a Google Tag Manager container. If you do not have a Google Tag Manager account already, you can click on create now. But since I already have a Shopify account, I'm going to use this Google Tag Manager container. All you need for this thing to work is this Google Tag Manager container ID. So let's select this container ID from here and paste it back on the Shopify store. Great, let's hit save. And now let's connect this custom pixel with our Shopify store. Once you hit on connect, this will connect this pixel with the Shopify store. Now we can do some tests to make sure the Google Tag Manager container is actually firing on the website. So let's just click on test and this will open the Shopify front end. If you have an extension which is called Google Tag Manager Legacy Tag Assistant, since I don't have it, I can install it right here. This is deprecated, but this works fine for the Google Tag Manager container. The only issue this extension has is that it does not work with Google Analytics for events. However, we are not going to use it for that. So once the extension has been installed, you can go back to the page of the website and enable the extension. Let's make it validate for all pages and hit done. And we can refresh the page. Once the website has been refreshed, you will be able to see the Google Tag Manager container that is firing on the website. Great, we can see that the GTM container is perfectly firing on the website. Since we have the data layer for the all pages event and we also have the Google Tag Manager container working on the website, now we need to create one conversion action inside Google Ads account, which is going to be responsible to track all the page view events that are happening on the website. To do that, let's just go back to the Google Ads account and under the goals, let's go to conversions and summary. On this page, we are going to create one conversion action, which is going to be for all the pages of the website. So let's scroll down and create conversion action. Google has recently updated the whole system, so we can use the updated one. We are going to use website conversion, so let's select website and we don't need Zapier, so we can continue with the website conversion. And this one is going to be for the pages event, so let's select all page view. And since this is going through Google Tag Manager, we will be using Google Tags. So let's click setup and create a manual event. Let's name it all page views event and click use event. Great. Now we can click save and continue. This is going to create the conversion action that we need using Google Tag Manager. Perfect. Let's switch to the Google Tag Manager tag. And this is the conversion label that we have to use with this conversion ID. 
Now we can switch over to our Google Tag Manager container and start creating all the necessary tags that we need. The first thing we need is called a conversion linker. So let's select that. And since the conversion linker is going to fire on all the pages of the website, we can select the all pages trigger. But when we are using this custom pixel, we have to use a custom event. So let's select, let's create a custom trigger that we will be using. So for this custom trigger, this is going to be named page view. So let's rename this one as custom event for page view and hit save. This is going to create a custom trigger which will fire whenever a page view event happens on the customer pixel. For the Google Tag Manager container and Google Ads account, we do need to create a conversion linker. So let's quickly create the conversion linker. And fortunately, we don't need any additional settings for this one. So let's just rename it as Google Ads Conversion Linker. Great. Now, since we have added the Google Ads Conversion Linker, we can go on to the next step, which is adding the Google Ads Conversion Tracking Code. So since we are going to use the same page view event, we can create a Google Ads conversion tracking tag. And the only two things we need here is the conversion ID and the conversion label. If you remember on the Google Ads page, we do have this conversion ID. So let's select this ID right here and go back to the GTM container, paste the ID right here. Uh, instead of pasting the ID directly inside the Google Ads tag, let's create a constant variable that will help us reuse this variable whenever we want. So let's select a constant variable and paste the ID of the Google Ads conversion ID and rename this constant variable as Google Ad conversion ID and hit save. Once the variable for conversion ID has been created, we can do the same thing for the conversion label. So let's switch over to the Google Tag Manager account again. So we can copy the conversion ID, conversion label. Once we have copied the conversion label, we can go back to the Google Tag Manager container, create a new constant variable which is going to be the Google Ads conversion label. And this is for all page views. Great, we can hit save once all the variables has been created. And that's pretty much it. Once we hit save, we can rename this as Google Ads conversion tracking all page views. Once we hit save, this should add the both of the events. Unfortunately, we won't be able to preview this one. So we have to submit the changes. So let's submit changes as tracking academy added Google ads all page use events and hit continue. Once the changes are live, we can go back to the Google ads account and hit finish here. And then let's do a test on the website to make sure everything is working all right. Great. Once we have published the Google tag manager container, we can click test on our data layer again and open the console. This is where we can see all the requests that are going outside of the website to Google accounts. So let's search for Google. And once this test pixel has been loaded, you can see that the page view event has fired. And once this page view event fired, you can also go to console and you will be able to see this data layer event. This data layer event is actually coming in from the customer code that we have added on the website. So once this is firing, you can also verify the same thing from this tag legacy assistant and one Google ad conversion tracking code has fired. And you can also see this marketing tag and it has the same conversion ID and the same conversion label that we have configured for tracking. Once this is done on your Google ads account, the status currently should be inactive. And after a few minutes, this should turn into no recent conversions. That means the tag is active. However, it has not received any conversions lately. So finally, we have done everything to make sure this Google Ads page view event is working. We did configure a data layer event. We also created a conversion action inside Google Ads. And finally, we also made sure that this tracking is working online on the Shopify store. If you want to see how to configure Google Analytics for events, you can click on this playlist right here.